In this week's episode, I don't remember if anything else happens. Can't remember if anything else happens. There it is. Kate doesn't remember what we show in the video. We didn't show you in this video. Did we show them how we filleted? And I say, Take one. Hey everyone, welcome back. We just got done with fishing, our weekend of fishing, and we're about to get ready to actually vacuum seal our fish so that we can freeze them and use them throughout the rest of the year. We've got this nice table uh, that we picked up at Sportsman's Warehouse nearby, and we're really excited because it has a hose attachment so we can rinse off the fish and get it ready to package so that it's nice and fresh when we actually defrost it later when we plan to eat it. Um, so we're gonna walk you through the process of what we do. And we've got our bag of salmon fillets here. So follow along and, and we'll show you what we do. So we filleted all the salmon at the site where we were fishing. So now we're just packaging. But I just grabbed the salmon fillet and I like to rinse off all of the sort of sliminess from the river. nice and clean. Look at that pretty pink. I'll go ahead and do all these real quick. Make the packaging process a little faster. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean up a few of these fillets um, to really the way that we like them cut. Um, our friend Tanya did these while we were at the river and it was her first time and she did a really good job, like way better than we did. So, especially awesome. starting out. <laughs> yeah, especially just you know, doing it for the first time. So nice job, Tanya. Um, yeah, we're just, now that we're here and we're on a table and we have a mat, it's a little bit easier to clean up the fillets a little more precisely, although I'm kind of making a hash of it myself. So. Okay. We should be pretty much ready to go in a minute and then we'll move on to the vacuum seal. All right, so that is done. And there are those beautiful salmon fillets. Fillets are ready. I'm just going to rinse all this stuff off real quick. Yeah, this table is awesome. We got a folding table like this last year, but it didn't have the, the sink. And uh, so we had to have like a bucket of water with us, like a clean bucket and a dirty bucket. And uh, yeah, this is all. Both would get pretty grimy by the time yeah, we were done. Now, this is a relatively small amount of fillets. You know, when we, when we have more, sometimes we'll have like, I don't know, four times this much easily. Mm -hmm. if it was a good day. And we'll probably get the other table out just for space and to get a little assembly line going. Uh, but now we're just gonna get the paper towels out, pat these guys as dry as we can reasonably get them, and we'll get the vacuum sealer out and seal them up, throw them in the freezer, and they'll be ready for this winter. Okay, so we got our vacuum sealer back out. We have uh, one gallon um, sealed, like pre-sealed bags at the bottom, so the process is pretty easy. We'll get our Beautiful filet here, which is pretty dry. Okay. Slide it into the bag, hopefully pretty flat. 
looks like we'll probably only be able to get one of these per bag. Although we could divide a couple and get another piece. Although really one filet is enough for a meal for us. So we usually only do one at a time. So we'll do this. Set the bag in over the seal. Make sure it doesn't move. Jeez, that is dry. Not letting me stay. Okay, now making sure it's not going to move because I'm holding it. Make sure it clicks down. Click hold. Okay, I'm moist. Moist. And it should suck all the air out of that. can't remember if anything else happens. There it is. And we usually seal it one more time. We usually seal it one more time. I think you have to open it and then we... Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep, nice, and sealed. nice seal there and there's our salmon so we'll do that for the rest and then we'll toss them in the freezer and these will be good to go so with these um, we do take the ribs rib bones out when we process them but these still actually have the pin bones in them they kind of run down the middle like pointing straight out the sides of the fish um, and last year we kind of bothered to pull every one of those out before we cooked them. Uh, now we found it's easier to just cook the whole filet and actually just kind of be careful and take them out as you eat them. Uh, it's way less work and way easier once to, to do that once the meat is already cooked. And here they're kind of sticky and can be difficult to grab a hold of even with like pliers. So we discovered that last year. All right. Nice. Looks like a pretty good seal. Yeah? Yep. Cool. Yeah. Nicely done. So we're getting through them here. You know, we'll probably do another one of these when we have processor a larger amount of fish and we can show you how we streamline that. Not really. And um, the other things that we'd like to try this year are to smoke them because we have a little smoker now. Um, we took some to um, a separate place and had them smoke it last year, some of, the, some of our fillets, and they were really good. So we'd like to play around with that ourselves this year. Um, it's a pretty involved process. We don't know how much, we don't know that much about it. So we'll maybe get, try and get somebody to come over and give us some advice or we'll just wing it. Um, the other thing I know, traditionally you can hang the salmon and let it air dry basically. And that's supposed to be really good, so we may try that at some point too. See if we can get some bears over here to try and eat the salmon <laughs> off the line. So, I don't know if we'll, we'll get to that this year or not. We're going to try, but uh, if we do, we will definitely video it. Otherwise, this is our proven method other than just immediately cooking it. So. Alright, hope you guys found this educational. Um, this is kind of the last step in the whole fishing and preserving process. So thanks or, for tuning in. Or if you guys know of a different way that you prep it, let us know in the comments. That's it. Thanks guys. <laughs>